you know what I didn't do? You know what I didn't do? We didn't catch up on Goromajima. I didn't... I forgot to... I forgot to look at the... Last time on Goromajima. Uh... Don't I feel silly about that one, huh? Well, Kamurocho Tokyo, how about that? I bet we're gonna see Go... Hey, there he is! The man of the hour! Hopefully this isn't gonna take an hour. Uh, I wouldn't be too surprised, I guess, depending on what we're doing, but... I don't think it should take an hour. Uh... You know what will take an hour? I... Okay. I have a 2DS. I think I've mentioned this before. And, of course, it's, like, just the greatest geometry to have to, like, stick in a bag and travel with, right? So, I was going to play it on the plane, because I haven't quite finished, um, Ocarina of Time 3D yet, right? I was gonna do it. And then I see there's a freaking pinch point on my on my screen. My touch screen has a pinch point and I can't I can't do anything because it's contact it's constantly contacting like the bottom middle freaking section of my 2DS screen. So I guess I got to replace the digitizer that that shouldn't take too long. I saw a video of a guy he did it in like 10 minutes, you know. That didn't include putting all the screws back in. But it did include taking all the screws out. So I imagine it'll take probably like 20 minutes for me. Just because I don't know entirely what I'm doing. And I have sweaty hands. So I will be constantly drying them after every step. You know? Wow, that's an interesting... Is that just supposed to be heat that's happening there? Or is that something weird going on? Like, I understand the... Uh, the, uh, um, uh, steam coming out of the pot, you know? What? What you talking about, pal? Huh? Oh. That's not great. I don't want to do that, pal. Do I have to? Anyways. So yeah, that should be fun. I got myself a cool electronic screwdriver set. Not that the screwdriver is electronic, but that it works on electronic components. Um, and it's honestly, it's a pretty handy little set. It's got quite a bit on here. Uh, like, it's got uh, bits that I've never seen before, which isn't saying much, but like, like there's a U-shaped bit in here. And I'm probably just going to use it to, uh, uh, what am I going to use it for? I'm probably just going to use it to, like, lift things. Well, I guess Flathead would be better for that. Um, and in fact, I think it, it may actually be um, pins that have surfaces that can be grabbed. That might be it. Because, you know, then you can just kind of lift up on them. But the bits are also, the bits themselves are magnetic, so I don't know that you would really need um, that, you know? Anyways, I'm going to have a jolly good time at some point, um, going in here and sh making sure all of the, uh, all of the bits have their uh, little serial number thing facing outward because I am OCD as hell. And that would just look really nice, right? And that's what's actually going to take an hour. It's going to be 20 minutes of me actually fixing my 2DS. And then another 40 minutes of me turning bits around. Except, actually, since the cutscene's playing, I'm doing that right now. There's only four rows, four rows of six. There's 24 different bits in here. I've already got six down. They're not that tiny. You know, I actually quite like it, as long as it actually still works. But I, I am a little bit concerned with the fact that the bits are magnetic, but I don't think that should be too much of a problem, if I'm being honest. Um, I sure hope not. Like, I don't know. I, I think I get too kind of caught up in the idea that I shouldn't use uh, magnets near electronics, you know? Um, but hey, I guess uh, I'll take. I'll be careful and make sure to take my SD card out of my 2DS before I start taking it apart. Take everything out of that thing, you know. Um, and hopefully it will work. And if it doesn't, 
well, I can get a better version. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say that. I'm in this weird stage of life where my expenses are a lot lower than my possible income. You know? So, it's less that I don't have to work and more that I don't have to work very much. And don't get me wrong, I'm glad for that, but I don't, you know, I don't want to get conceited here. And I, I'm not sure how much I'm kind of gearing up to just live like this, you know? I wouldn't want to live like this for too long. Not the whole uh, having less expenses than income. I like that part, but the, uh, you know, I get that by living in, in relatively low circumstances. Like having three roommates. Ooh, that's another fun story. I uh, walked up to my door this morning, right? And I tried to open it with my key, because, you know, I have a key for my own house. As one does. And, by golly, the key would not turn in the lock. So I'm, I'm near about to just, like, break the key off in the lock for fun. And... Uh, instead, I go and check the pro with the property owner, or the property manager, or whatever. I'm like, hey, dude, I really gotta get into my own house, right? And I can't. So, she walks over, and, you know, they've got a key to my apartment, too. That's fun. Um, oh? But, it's, uh... Dang, I gotta put my screwdrivers away. Crap, hold on. Well, I guess they're not drivers, they're bits. Gotcha boy, has boys been seen in the champion district? It's good a place to look as any, right? I don't know that that slid on properly, hold on. There we go. This really is a nice set. I gotta say, I don't see a lot of nice sets. I live in a very dry area when it comes to nice sets. You know what I'm saying? Um, eh. Anyways, I, I'll go back to doing what I do best. Play video games, I suppose. How has this already been seven and a half minutes? I gotta love the cutscenes in this game. I can do a whole ten minute segment without actually doing anything. Yeah, because that's a great thing to admit here, I guess. Um, but I... Uh, what we found out with the property manager found out it's not that I my key doesn't fit in the lock or that my key doesn't actuate the lock but hey what who wants to fight bikers hooligans goons hooligans of course anyways this is a fun little uh, okay a fun little area for me to uh, do this in. so I you know what I'm actually gonna do Breaker, just because Breaker isn't constrained by, uh, things. Ow. Dude, not cool. It would be really cool if I could... Ah, sucker. Um, you know, do other things. You know what I gotta remember? I really got to remember that I can... Oh, jeez. What the heck was that? Right? I, I can do my super cool special moves that I completely forget about every single time, right? Look at that. Wasn't that sick? That was a cool one, too. Wow. Um, it was a one, too. I did hit him twice. I'm sorry, you're honest. Yeah, I don't think you're sorry enough. Give me all your money. Good times. So, I walk up to my door. Uh, right. The key... So, the weird thing about my lock, the lock on my door... It doesn't take much... It takes like a quarter turn to unlock, and like three quarter turn to lock. So I thought that my key was just stuck in the lock, but actually it was just that the lock wasn't locked in the first place. Because there was a new guy that they brought into my house, and instead of the lock that you can actually access from outside, he deadbolted the door. So that's fun. Uh, I'm gonna beat his ass. <laughs> huh? 
Who's that guy? Huh? Um, but yeah, real good times. You gotta love it, man. I love having roommates, especially roommates that are quiet. But I really don't love having roommates that deadbolt the door while I'm out and about. And it was funny because when they called him and he let me in because, you know, I was like beating the door down. I look behind me after he lets me in. He's got the deadbolt locked again. I'm like, okay, that won't do. So I unlock it. Hit that lock you can actually access from the outside. Good times, truly. Uh, anyways, roommates are fun. Roommates are really fun. I'm going to not make any jokes about having a lot of roommates, because the last time I did that, I got in serious trouble. That's another fun story. Uh, maybe I'll tell it at a time when it's a lot less relevant to my life than it is now. But not that it really has any bearing on my life right now, but, you know, it's a really stupid story. I find it somewhat funny, but I find a lot of things somewhat funny. Where the heck is Makoto Miyamura? I need to kill her. Am I allowed to say that? I think so. Also, like... Didn't I just say, like... Mm. What am I looking for? Home to... Homeless? Why don't I just go to West Park? Oh, oh, oh. Yasushi. Is that... Is that bar in Japanese? Yeah, just kidding. Bar in Japanese is actually ba. Ung. What's with the police here, huh? What's up with the cops? Also, what's up with the subtitles? Oh, wait. Is there something over here, huh? Oh, dude. Not cool. <laughs> I always intervene. Didn't you see the, the cutscene? You guys are slime. Alright, hooligans. Prepare for my bat. I always forgot that I... I kept forgetting that my pummeling bat has a... Isn't that sick? Eh, <laughs> sucker. Ha ah, moron. Anyways. Here, have a taste of this. You might like it. Yeah, just kidding. You're definitely not going to like it. Uh-huh. This is what I'm going to do to my roommate next time I see him. Just just so you all know ahead of time what my intentions are. Hey. Yoink. Traffic cone. And I'm going to hit him with it again. It worked pretty well, I gotta say. He sure did stop. He stopped for the cone. Uh, I gotta say, it typically works out like that. Generally. Slightly patterned iron gear. Thanks, Bally. That's that's really helpful. You really helped me out there, dude. Oh, come on. You know what? This is gonna be the kicking the crap out of goons episode, I guess. Again, back to Breaker. Also, you know what I really should do? Um, you know what I want to do? Hold on. I don't actually know if I have, like, uh... Okay, I can just hold Y, right? Okay, and if my guard does get broken... If I end up on the ground, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. Sick! Cool, cool stuff. It's important that I do this right now. Also, what is this? Hmm? Ooh, that's pretty good. That is really good, actually. Hold on. Anything else? Heat retention? Um, ooh. Hmm. Okay, that's... I mean, that's that's nice and all, but I don't know how that really helps me. Wee. Ow. Wee. 
I gotta say, the, uh, the kicks are really helpful, and the fact that I looked at the screen is also really helpful. Here, pal. Okay, he's got a knife. Not cool. Yeehaw! Oh yeah, I love beating people up. It's my favorite pastime. Really gets your blood boiling, flowing, and all that. Anyways, get out of the way, dude. Seriously. Anyone else have a problem with me, huh? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Yeah, uh, that was a... That bit didn't take long to get old, huh? What's up the stairwell? I can't get up the stairs. Never mind. Don't I feel silly. What's in here? I can't go in there. Never mind. Don't I feel silly. I am, uh, to be fair, a silly little guy. So, you know, that's just the way it goes. You figure they're inside one of these areas. That might be the case. Johnny the Idiot. Dude, I didn't know they had a... I didn't know they had a cameo with you in this game. Bro, how about that? Oh, okay, well, this didn't take long. I really am just, like, beating the crap out of goons in this episode. At least let me save the game first. Let me find a payphone. There's not a single payphone in that little area. Shimano? What the heck are you doing here in Tokyo? Hmm. Well, yeah, you know, you're right, but, I mean, that's not very cool for you to be being right and all. <laughs> you should have just been wrong. Hmm. You know what's super cool? I don't know why, but I think it has something to do with my new monitor. My screen is just, like, not in the right place. And I did I did my darndest to change that. But it's not really, you know... Like, I have no idea why there is a bar at the top and not the bottom. Because it looks like the text is in the right place. Silent treatment now! Ah! Uh, yes. Well, gentlemen, what is your favorite flavor of boot? Mm. You got a problem? I sure hope these guys are not strong at all. I don't think they're gonna be, but you know. Whee! Okay, that was a lot. That was very underwhelming, actually. Alright. See, it really works out. This style is like... Kono Bakaga. That's what he said, I think. I think he said, uh, this idiot, pretty much. Dude, not cool. You're not supposed to be able to do that. I think I was, I was doing the wrong thing anyways. I think all I have to really do is, is like, press Y for one of those things to happen. And then the thing I did earlier where I was just kind of standing. Hee hee. Moron. Anyways. I, I also don't really know what the point is of some of the moves I can do. Really a little bit wacky. But, you know. Wow, the Shimano guys. I beat them up, just like every other group of guys that comes at me. Who could have seen... Oh, well. <sighs> How many of these guys do I have to beat up? Oh, great, they're a veteran. Hmm. Uh? Well, yeah. Are you going to escort me to a payphone? I would like to be escorted to a payphone. Yes, I did just say escorted. It was an accident. You don't have to say anything about it. Alright. <laughs> uh, seriously, if anybody knows what I can do to, like, zoom out on the video here, that would be super cool, because this seems to be just not right somehow, you know. Uh, 
But who knows? You know, I, I scaled the UI. I don't think I scaled anything else. I think that's the problem. Oh, but now this video is... Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. It looks kind of like it's properly scaled and, and centered and all that. Wow. What even are those? Is that a... Is that a... Oh my gosh, wait, this is the... It's the guy. It's, it's, it's Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> the man himself. Oh my gosh, this big old Daruma. Mm -mm. You know, I'm not a big fan of the taste of, uh... <sighs> what was it? What was that thing that, uh, was it Aristotle? That drank, uh, poison? In prison? What is with this? Serious. I'm gonna have to actually look up how to scale this game, because th this monitor, I do like it, if only because it's a second monitor. It's a pretty low bar for me, honestly. Um, so, um, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. It feels like it's just slightly off scale. Uh, horizontally like I feel like Sagawa should be centered here or that the guy in the foreground should be centered here I mean he seems ever so slightly to the left to the right I mean and then you know everything seems like it's a bit out of whack in the vertical direction but you know I really I guess should have seen this coming right? Uh, I'm probably going to have to knock down the resolution, which I don't like doing. I really don't. And it's weird that it does this, like, pretty much only on, this, on the uh, cutscenes. Because <laughs> I wasn't noticing any difference in, in the uh, in gameplay. Yeah? I have no idea. But I'll, I'll look into it, I suppose. Or I could, of course, just record on my smaller screen. That works, too. In all honesty, the benefit of having two screens for recording is only just that I can see the OBS instance while it's open. Which is nice and all if I'm keeping time, but I don't keep time very well anyways. Especially for this series. So, you know. Uh, having two screens is really kind of looking... Huh? Not as cool. Is that because you took my eye? You caught my eye. Hmm. Oh, yeah? You hide her someplace safe instead, right? Exactly what I wanted you to do. Really? Why don't I believe you? Huh. You serious right now? You don't even want the girl killed? What if I had listened to you, dude? What if I had been like... Okay. You got it, boss. You know? Hmm. The empty lot, of course. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, of course it has. I knew that already. I've been paying a lot of attention. Yeah, anyways. You know, I sure can't wait for the episode to be over. How about y'all? Put, put it in the comments if you're, um, if you're still watching. And I will sincerely apologize. Um, yeah. You know, it's days, it, it's times like this that I remember why I only really record one episode a day. <laughs> I actually got behind. I did get behind. I think um, it's pretty obvious by based on Tuesday's episode. Oh, and I still have to. Um, well, anyways, something relating to the Batman episode. The Batman episode helped me out, actually. It did. It was good to take a nice little break on, on purpose entirely without having anything to do with anything about screwing up. Um, nice. It was good stuff. And I'm glad I did. Because then I could 
get a day ahead instead of zero days ahead, and then I'll slowly get back to being, um, I will slowly get back to being a week ahead, or like six days ahead. I don't know if I really just want to pre-record everything out into, like, the ethos, because I don't really foresee myself having to stop doing this. Um, it just doesn't really take that much time out of my day. Maybe it should. Uh, I can definitely understand that argument from a quality perspective, but I don't even know what I could do to make this more better. You know, I'm basically just watching the cutscene. Uh, what? Um, oh, well, I know. I'll put a cam on, and then I'll put my empty chair in the bottom right corner, and then I'll stream on Twitch. Funny joke, right, guys? That's still irrelevant. That's still a relevant thing to talk about, right? Um, yeah. Aika. What? Well, ah, you know, that's not bad. This guy, this guy's a real conniving fellow. He's actually, he's actually been planning the whole dang thing from the start. Huh. Well. Yeah. So the Dojo Clan, Tojo Clan, so Dojima would Dojo Clan. Dojima of the Tojo Clan. Of course. That's what I was going to say. Hmm. Oh? He's going to infiltrate Tojo, I suppose? Hmm. Uh -huh, that guy. Wait. Isn't that the hitman? I don't remember him, actually. <laughs> I, I don't remember who this guy is. <laughs> Maybe I should be paying attention. I say that every episode, and I still don't, so, you know. Anyways. Mm. Wow. It's nice. Did he die before? Is that what happened? Like he got he got quote unquote killed off. Eh, oh well. This guy is really conniving. Like this this guy right here is he seems like the the uh, the everyman yakuza. <laughs> he's the he's the. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what it is exactly. He, he is the, the kind of person you think of when you think mob boss. Yeah. Maybe. I guess you think of El Capone, whatever. Uh, I got uh, to beer to run and taxes to not pay. What a guy. Anyways. <laughs> I still can't believe they got Capone on taxes. Hey, you can get anybody on taxes, man. <laughs> and that was like a major victory. But, you know, I guess there's a reason we don't talk much about Capone. Not too much. Like, the the interest and relevance of Capone is entirely with reference to the existence of the 20th Amendment. And, uh, I forgot which amendment it was that started Prohibition. <laughs> And uh, my U.S. history teacher back in junior high had a pretty funny joke about that, um, the 20th Amendment, and how it immediately precedes the 19th Amendment, uh, and how, I, I guess I won't get into too specific, but I'll say that uh, the, the basic idea was uh, after we had the 19th Amendment, we needed the 20th Amendment. <laughs> Um, that's it. That's a that's a, a, a joke from a, an old U.S. history teacher. And now I remember the 19th and 20th amendments really well. And in the same kind of way, I remember. Uh, I don't know about the 17th. I feel like I remember the 18th relatively well. 
well, actually, I think I remember the 17th Amendment. 17th Amendment is a uh, popular elected senators, I want to say. Which is terrible, but whatever. Just a clown this whole time. You know it. Anyways. What, are we going to beat up these guys? Stop playing pachinko. Yeah, smack that guy's ass. What? You got the thug ass. You got that thug ass. Yeah, pull up your shirt. Shake your ass, man. Come on, shake it. I know you got that shit. You got the thug ass. Just wear an eye patch, and no one will fuck with you. Oh, come on. Not cool, man. You done, pal? Yeah, pretty much. You done? I don't really care. <laughs> Not cool, dude. Oh, now they're gonna join in? You said this was a bad idea. Come on. These guys have no principles. Alright. I think we're done. I mean, as much as I hate making 30 minute episodes. Oh! <laughs> hey, uh. Hey, Sawaga. <laughs> what do you get when you cross? <laughs> Nishikiyama? Oh, yeah! Let's go take his place, guys. Anyways, let's bump into more fellas. I want to get my, my face caved in. But for now, yeah, let's find a payphone. I, I refuse to... Never mind. I was about to say I refuse to bump into women, but that's, that's stupid. I just only bump into women. It's just the way it goes. It's not actually have anything to do with, like... Is there still a pinup over here? Never mind. Never mind. Let's, let's not think too hard about that one. All right. Maybe we'll look at all the pinups later. But it sure as heck ain't gonna be today. Till next time though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will uh, cave your face in. I will I will perform the face caving punch. I sure can't wait until season four of One Punch Man. What a great time. Yeah. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.